Hello and welcome back to our video. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the booking feature of Marketing Master IO. So first, we are going to create an event. So let's go to Utilities and then go to Booking. And after that, we are going to create a new booking event. We are going to upload our logo. After uploading our logo, we are going to add an event name. And then we are going to add our event description. And after that, we are going to set our brand name. And then the appointment duration. So let's say that the duration of each meeting is one hour and 30 minutes. That is an equivalent of 90 minutes. And then we are going to set the event location. In this case, we are going to set the event location to be on a Zoom call. Then set your time zone. Let's say my time zone is in Manila. And then set my availability according to my time zone. Example, I'm available from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Just change this according to your liking. And then we can set our custom event notification. But for this example, we are going to use the default notification. And once you want to use the default email notification, just set this to no value. But if you want to create your own custom email notification, sent to your client and also sent to your admin, then just create an email notification by going to Marketing Master IO and then go to email marketing and then create an email flow. But for this example, we're just going to use the default notification. And then we're going to set how many attendees per time slot. Example, I am accepting five attendees per time slot. And after that, you can set a webhook URL so that you can connect to your favorite automation workflow like Zapier, Make or Public Connect or whatever automation that you want to connect to. The webhook URL would trigger whenever there is a successful booking from your client. Now that we have successfully configured our booking event, we can easily save this configuration by clicking the confirm button here. So let's click this. Okay, so we have just created a booking event. You can view your booking event by clicking the view event button here. So this is what our booking event page looks like. Your client can choose which day they want to book an appointment with you. Example, they want to book an appointment by November 7. As you can see, there are no available time because currently it is 10 p.m. here and my availability is only up to 9 p.m. So that's why there are no available time slots here. But if we go to November 8, our client would be able to book all available time slots here. Your client can also change their available time zone here. And once your client successfully selected their time zone, they can set the time which they can confirm. And after that, they can fill up this contact form and add any details that they want to add here and submit the appointment. Once the appointment is successfully submitted, then you would be able to see that appointment on your appointments tab. So go to the appointments tab and then select the date. And as you can see, we have one attendee here and you can view all your attendees by clicking the view attendees button. And as you can see, all the details are here. It is also easy to sync all of your appointments with your Google Calendar. All you have to do is click the sync button here and then what you need to do is select your Google account and you might find that there is an unverified app notification here. Don't be alarmed once you see this one because our app is currently under the process of Google verification. All you have to do to go through with the Google Calendar sync is by clicking the advanced link here and then go to Marketing Master IO. And after that, click allow. And after that, once your Google Calendar is synced, all future booking appointments will be automatically synced with your Google Calendar. 
So if we go to our booking appointment page again and then refresh, we are going to book another time slot. Example, I want to book on this time slot. I'm going to confirm the changes, add my details here. And after that, add my contact number and add another information here. So this is optional. And then we can click Submit. And after hitting Submit, we can go to our Google Calendar to check if the events are synced. And as you can see, we have a synced events here for November 8th. This was the previous booking appointment that we have set. And this one is the most recent booking appointment that we have submitted. Okay, great. So we now see that we can sync appointments to our Google Calendar. So if we also delete an event, the events that were registered in our Google Calendar would be removed as well. So if we delete this event, and after successfully deleting this event, we can check back with our Google Calendar. And as you can see, there are no more appointments for November 8th because the appointments that was linked to our event was deleted as well. Okay, so I have recreated our deleted booking event. What I want to do now is I want to use this booking feature with my chatbot. So it's easy to do that. Just go to Facebook and Instagram and then go to Chatbot Flow Builder. And then we are going to create a new chatbot. So let's create a new one and say booking chatbot demo. Booking chatbot demo and then click OK. And after doing that, we are going to create our text element here. And then let's say Okay, example, this is our message. Book now by clicking the Book Now button below. And then we are going to add a button. And then we are going to say Book Now. And then for the button type, we are going to select Booking. And then choose the booking event that we have recently created. And just like that, you are going to confirm the changes. And we can also add a confirmation message here so whenever our subscriber successfully submitted a booking schedule we can send a confirmation message by connecting the output socket here to another message and for this one we are going to say thanks thanks for booking your appointment and then we can use the booking custom variables so that we can display the booking details created by our subscriber so to do that, just click the custom variable button here. And then under the booking variables options, you can use the first name, last name, phone number, email, notes, and other booking details here. So example, this is our final confirmation message. Thanks, first name. Here are the details of your appointment. And then we are going to give the event name, the time slot, and then the duration of their appointment. And after that, we are going to confirm the changes and we are going to add a keyword trigger here. And then for the keyword trigger, we are going to use strict match. And then let's say our trigger keyword would be double hyphen and then book and then click OK. Finally, we are going to save our flow. All right, so I have opened up our Messenger app from my mobile phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger our trigger keyword, which is the double hyphen and then book. And after that, we should receive our booking message. Okay, great. We now receive our booking message. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click book now. And then what we're going to do is we are going to select a day. Example, I'm going to select November 8. And then I am going to choose to any of the available time slots here. Example, I'm going to choose 1.30 p.m. And then I am going to confirm. And then I'm going to add the details. So my first name and last name were automatically populated based on the details from my Facebook account.
and then I'm going to add my email here and then the phone number and then whatever message that I want to send here and then I'm going to click submit alright so I have successfully submitted my booking appointment and as you can see here I have received our confirmation message so here are the details of your appointment and then we have the booking name we have the time slot and the duration so you can use more booking appointment custom variables there you can experiment on your own and it's really up to you what you want to add details here so if we go to our Google Calendar we should see another schedule here being populated for November 8 and this is the detail that was synced if we click here we can see that this is the email that I added when I booked my booking schedule and we have the notifications here we have 10 minutes before the event one hour before the event as an email notification and we have here one day before the event as an email and now if we check our emails we will get an email notification whenever there is a successful booking submission event so we would be able to find the details of our lead here and then what specific time slot they wanted to meet us on our time zone and also our client would also receive an email notification whenever they successfully submit a booking event so let's head over to our clients email and check what they are going to receive all right so this is our clients email and as you can see this is the notification that they will receive whenever they successfully submit a booking schedule from your booking event they would see the event name event description the duration and the time slot that they chose and if you want to create your custom email notifications simply head over to email marketing and then create an email flow and then choose that email flow whenever you create a booking event or you can just update your current existing event and then select the email notification that you wish to use and that's it I hope this feature would be helpful for you we have other features that are coming as well and if you want to add suggestions for further improvements of this feature just let us know and I hope you learned a lot from this video and see you on our next lessons